Storm Team Weather Special, I'm Mark Tucson. As home video cameras became less expensive and easier to carry, people started using their cameras to capture storms. These destructive beauties are almost more than an amateur videographer can resist. You know it's dangerous, you know it can kill. The view is so mesmerizing that you just can't refuse. April 26, 1991, Wichita, Kansas. This home video shows the destructive nature of tornadoes and the human nature to want to view what is happening. The inability to turn away and retreat to the relative safety within a structure. This day, atmospheric conditions were just right to form rotating thunderstorms which produced tornadoes throughout the Andover area. The Weather Channel was so confident that severe storms would happen within a 100 mile radius of Wichita that they sent one of their own video crews to Wichita 24 hours before the storm even hit to be ready to capture any severe weather that would pop up in the area. Little did they know that they placed their crew right where a major tornado would touch down. This video of the same tornado shot by meteorologist and storm chaser John Davies shows not only how quickly tornadoes move, but at the same time, how amazingly destructive they are. It also proves that large cities are not invulnerable to these monsters. 17 people lost their lives in and around Wichita due to this tornado. Though 17 people sorrowfully lost their lives this day, the death toll could have been much higher if not for the warnings issued to the public hours before to be prepared for this type of weather and the warnings put out right before the storm hit the city. When tornadoes are likely to form within the next few hours, a tornado watch is issued by the Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma to alert the public that tornadoes may develop within a specific area during a certain time period. Many communities have trained volunteer spotters who look for tornadoes after the watch is issued. Once a tornado is spotted, either visually or by Doppler radar, a tornado warning is issued by the local National Weather Service office. In some communities, sirens are sounded to alert people of the approaching storm. Radio and television stations interrupt regular programming to broadcast the warning. ...is right now showing up on the Storm Sentinel, an active tornado warning up here in Roosevelt County, Montana, but a line of thunderstorms here, the strongest of which are down in the southwest corner. Taking you down a little closer with the Storm Sentinel, here is the strongest storm right over Mott at this particular hour as we get in just a little bit closer, where we see the darker red colors, that's likely where we have the largest hail, and that's tracking just to the north and west of you folks in Mott, and that means you'll want to get those cars inside from the garage, and remember, now you want to seek shelter in that interior room away from windows, and also, these strong storms can, with very little warning, produce tornadoes, and we do have that tornado watch in effect as it continues its movement about 30 miles per hour to the north and east, northern Grant County, including you folks out by Lake Chida, and also on in toward the Glen Olin and Hebron areas. That's where the line of activity is heading. We'll stay on top of that for you tonight. Here is a look at the radar now. Although not completely effective, this warning system is apparently saving many lives. Despite the large increase in the population in the tornado belt in the past 30 years, tornado-related deaths have actually shown a decrease. Beyond this mistakenly held belief that tornadoes only occur in Tornado Alley, there are many misperceptions about these storms. Some classic tornado myths include tornadoes are always visible from a great distance. This is false. Tornadoes can be hidden within the heavy rain shafts within a thunderstorm. Another is tornadoes cause houses to explode from extreme changes in air pressure. False. Homes are damaged or destroyed by strong winds, not changes in air pressure. Some people have traditionally thought that by opening the windows in your house before a tornado hits, you can balance the pressure inside and outside your home so a tornado will not do as much damage or any damage at all. This, of course, is false as well. The force of a tornado can rip through a structure whether the windows are open or not. One shouldn't open the windows when a tornado threatens. This could actually make the situation worse and potentially put yourself in more danger by not taking shelter immediately. 
Another myth is that the best place to be during a tornado is generally in the southwest corner of the lowest floor in your home. This is also false. This used to be a safety rule based on the idea that debris would usually not be deposited there, but has now been rethought. The current best advice is to move to a protected interior room on the lowest floor of the building, as far possible from exterior walls and windows. One myth people have thought true is that tornadoes cannot cross water. This is definitely false, because a water spout is a type of tornado that forms on water. Tornadoes can also form on land and cross bodies of water, such as rivers or lakes. More violent tornadoes can also travel up and down hillsides. Therefore, a belief that your location is protected by a river or ridge could prove to be a dangerously invalid one.